So guys, let's have a little talk about the pests. I have a couple of pests in this bed. Uh, one is wireworm and one is the cut bug, which is the uh, larvae of the mayfly. So let's have a look, see what's doing this. If you notice, look at this, it's got an envelope. And it's got no roots on it hardly now. So what I'll do, I'll have a dig around and see who's the culprit. Oh, it could be something else altogether. I can feel a little tunnel under there, but that tunnel is likely to be the uh, another pest. What I've got, indeed, though. Wireworm. It's a wireworm which is a problem I've had in this bed for a while, well, since I built it, because it was built on grass, and these are larvae of um, click beetles. But there's also a tunnel under there, and I don't know whether it's followed root or, but the, other, the tunnel could be also um, mole, uh, mole cricket. I haven't lost much to wireworms this year. Last year I lost a full, well, a full patch of lettuce, what I planted. He's now bird food. I'll just have a little dig around, see if I can see any more. Some years they're worse than others, apparently, because they can live in ground for several years as they develop. And because I, this were grass before, I'm just getting rid of some of these. Sunberries. I've got sunberries growing everywhere. <laughs> and I'll show you something else I've got. If you notice on these leaves here, on this um, mustard, it's all pretty nice, yeah? There's not a lot wrong with them. I'll show you the other bed. If you look at these on this bed, I've actually cut these ones so that fresh glove comes through. If you look at this, this is... Um, flea beetle um, they look, they, this bed's full of them they like the radish as you can see radish leaves and they also like this which is borage which I just let I let some of it grow up and then I pull it out and grow up and pull it out I do let some survive and grow onto fruition but obviously I don't want it in the onions and the uh, although flea beetle don't seem to affect the onions but radish uh, the mustard they like they must like spicy, but they like the radish, the mustard, and the borage. I've got a lot of beech seedlings in this year. Never had so many beech. Usually get uh, the uh, sycamore, but we had that big storm. I think it just brought a lot of beech leaves over, so I've got hundreds of beech trees starting. Quite a lot of volunteer lettuce in there as well. Have to pull some of that out. So another pest, this is the box caterpillar and these box edges never did much but that's the box caterpillar. Now as much as I'd love to feed them to the quail I can't because the box edge is toxic. Chickens won't eat it. Uh, if I were to put, I'd, I would have loved to have cut them down and put them in with the quail but I can't. So what I'm going to cut them down and then burn them. Caterpillars and all. So as you can see, I've got a little bit of fire going. Around where them books or box edges are, there's um, some rocks and I'm gonna build a nice little fire pit around here. Being able to burn some rubbish off, but now I'm gonna uh, destroy some bloody pests. Edge gone. The body lifts. Goodbye, cock caterpillars, you horrible little buggers.
I like that. That works well. Get rid of some caterpillars. It won't become more moths, but hey, such is life. Can't feed them to me quail, so throw them in the fire. Ease. Now, as much as I would love to leave you with that, I'm going to leave you with something else. I'm going to leave you with this. And if that's not beautiful, there's nothing is. <laughs>